Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Thanks for stopping by on this introduction to my brand new Triumph T120. I bought this two days ago and currently I have 47 miles on the clock. I've ridden three journeys uh, of those 47 miles and uh, I thought we'd just talk about it. I know she's a bit scruffy and she needs a clean and a polish but she's been through a lot of rain. So, but I thought we'd just say hello to this bike for the channel and uh, explain where we're going. Let's roll that intro. Okay. Interesting times. Uh, I have traded in at the dealership my Triumph Tiger 900 GT. And as you, if you're already familiar with the channel, you will know that I have a couple more motorcycles. Currently, I have a BSA Gold Star, the 2023, uh, and that's a wonderful bike. And I also have a Yamaha RD350R, which has been introduced over the last few weeks to the channel. And I used to have a Triumph Tiger 900 GT. I found that when riding, uh, I was always looking at the either the Yamaha RD350 or the BSA Gold Star. And I found those easier to manhandle out of the garage uh, and things like that. And the Triumph Tiger was there and sat for a while uh, other than large journeys when I go off into Wales or whatever which is infrequent at the moment so that was in effect my touring bike so I know I tour about one percent of my riding time so I thought I'm not I'm not taking advantage of that bike so I thought I'd get something that's better for daily use and easier to get out of the garage and things like that and as you will have already known uh, through some of my other channel, uh, other videos, I've been riding the Triumph T120 in Tenerife. Uh, and I enjoyed it so much, I thought I'd buy and replace the Triumph Tiger. Uh, because this is a bit of a smaller machine and it's just good and it's just as good probably for touring. Uh, and things like that. So I've gone and bought this machine uh, and I got a, a what I thought was a reasonable part exchange for this machine. This machine was purchased from Stafford, Tri Staffordshire Triumph or Triumph Staffordshire uh, and Simon and Danny, the sales team, helped me get this bike and it was you know, it was it was it was a great buying experience. Everything's been fine, uh, and it's a wonderful bike. It really is a wonderful bike. Uh, I've been thinking about buying a T one twenty for mm, maybe six months, a year, and now I've finally done it. And the beauty about this bike is, it's a bit simpler than the Triumph Tiger. Triumph Tiger had lots of complications on it and it was a great bike but I didn't think I was taking advantage of it and this bike is much more simpler for me it's got the analog clocks it's got the simple cruise control where you just press the button and it cruises it's got 60 miles per gallon uh, it's got everything I need for touring I will be putting a screen on this bike so that I can be protected from the wind and the rain. I am I have ordered a rack for the bike so I can put my hat box or top box, whatever we call it now, uh, on the back of the bike. Uh, and it's going to be great and ready for touring. I'm going to order some Lomo throwover pannier, uh, soft pannier uh, for this bike because that's all I need. That is all I need. I don't need big hard pannier and things like that. I've gone through a realisation that the simplest answer is often the best. And a simple bike 
for me, is probably a better option moving forward. So that's why I've gone and bought this bike. I hope we're going to have lots. Of, you know, we're going to have lots of videos on this bike, and you, you'll help. You'll hopefully enjoy these videos as we go riding around and taking in the British countryside and the European countryside, and take it from there. Uh, the price I got for the Triumph Tiger was £8,000 trade-in. The Tiger was uh, 16 months old. 16 months old, it had got 9,000 miles on it. So in a year, a year, and, a year and four months, I've uh, put 9,000 miles on it. Uh, it was ready for a new set of tyres. There's £350 or £300. And it was ready, uh, or was shortly going to be ready for its 12,000 mile valve check. Check the shims in the, uh, in the top there. And that was probably going to cost somewhere in the region of, I don't know, somewhere between 800 and 1,200 pound. So that means if you take 1,500 pound off that 3,000 pound, you know, for the tyres and the valve clearance check, uh, that's 1,500 pound, let's say take it off the 3,000 that means that for a year and just under a year and a half that bike has the Triumph Tiger has cost me 100 pound a month which I think is fine I think is fine because you always lose out on bikes you always lose out so let's be reasonable on this uh, she's the Tiger, uh, sorry, the T120 is a lovely bike to ride. It's such an easy going engine. It's got so much torque, it could restart a dead planet. And you don't need to take it over 5,000 RPM. Of course, I'm running this in, so the first 300 miles is limited to, limited to 4,000 RPM, which I will be sticking to. It's got simple things on it. It's got a rain mode and a road mode. It's got... Uh, the standard manual indicators which you have to turn off uh, which I found on the Tiger which has got automatic uh, turn off for the indicators I also found myself looking to make sure it had been turned off which in that case I may as well have turned off the indicator myself so I'm thinking you know the cruise control on this bike is so simple you just press the button to turn cruise on and then you press the button again to cruise at whatever speed you set it at. And it just it's just simple. There's no resume. There's no plus one mile an hour or minus one mile an hour. There's none of that. It's just a simple button that sets the bike to whatever speed that you're doing. Uh, so it's, it really is simplicity. It's got the analog dials which are very easy to read. Uh, it's got all the information that you would need to know, such as fuel, miles per gallon, speed, RPM, next uh, number of miles to go before you need to refill, all that kind of information. It's all on the screen, and she handles like a dream. One interesting point is, and I'd love you to comment on this, one interesting point is that when I ride other bikes, everything seems to be absolutely fine. Everything seems to be absolutely fine. No issues with other road users, generally speaking. Generally speaking. But aeroplane going overhead, if you can hear it. That's a Cessna 150 or a 152. I can... Yeah, it is. Oh, no, it isn't. It's a P28, a Piper P28. Same sort of engine. Anyway, regardless. Uh, what we're doing. So when I ride, everything seems to be fine. Don't get too many issues on the road with other road users. I've had three journeys on this bike. I picked the bike up and brought it home. And then I went out last night for number two journey and then I stopped wherever I was and then returned back to my house. On all three 
journeys. Someone didn't see me and pulled out on me. So I had to use the brakes a bit more excessively than I would want to use. Now, I'm not speeding or anything like that. But has anybody else had that problem? It can't be the bike. It's bizarre. So I'm going to be taking her out later today and making sure that, uh, making sure that uh, no one pulls out on me. So it's a bit bizarre. A bit bizarre. That said, that said, the times that I was riding last night, uh, yesterday and when I bought the bike, it was rush hour. So, and I don't often ride in rush hour. So I'll assume that that's the case. But uh, just an interesting thing to think about. Here she is, the new, brand new T120. She cost £11,000. I got uh, £8,000 as a trade-in for my Triumph Tiger 900 GT, which was a fantastic bike. But because of the current situation of the number of bikes I've got, I found that I wasn't using her as much. Uh, so that's why she's gone by. What do you think? What do you think? I know she's a bit scruffy and she's only done 47 miles, but she went through a hell of a rainstorm and I've tried to clean her up and I haven't really got the goods to clean her up with uh, properly. So I need to give her a good clean. What do you think? Tell me your thoughts. Where would you like to see this bike go? She is going to remain standard. There's going to be no new exhausts or anything like that. Uh, and we're going to go touring on her. Tell me what you think. Are you thinking about buying a T120? Do you currently own a T120? Have I made the right decision? I think we're okay. Hope you enjoyed this. Ride safely. Be kind to people. Any questions, put them in the comments. <clears throat> Always feel... Uh, feel feel free to contact me direct via email. <clears throat> That's not a problem either. Let's see where we go. Have a great day. See you very soon. Thank you. Bye bye.